Hi guys, this is Asraf and tonight is the video of my A3D Gusion 6 that I fitted on my 3D printer well, you probably seen the unboxing video my unboxing video of, of the A3D Gusion 6 or probably others video well, it is probably the same between mine and others video okay let's put that aside and yeah i fitted my e3d version 6 along with the custom groove mount that i model before and up to now it is um, version 3 already for the groove mount it is specially made for the groove mount type hot ends like e3d and j head and yeah it really fits very well on my GTEC Prusa i3B um, 3D printer well previously they use I mean the stock hot end use the Mark 8 um, extruder well the hot end are uh, screwed directly onto the Mark 8 metal extruder but as for mine actually you have you don't have to um, disassemble the magnet extruder and just well use my groove mount adapter also it will be compatible with the um, I mean it will be compatible with Greg's weight extruder as well and it is only on the version 3 and for the version 2 it is only for the magnet but the version 3 you can fit both Mark 8 extruder or the Greg's weight extruder design. So let's um, let me show you. I mean, let me show you the E3D version 6 that I fitted on my 3D printer. Okay. Here it is. Um, well, this is the E3D version 6 I fitted. Well, um, this is well the fan to cool the heatsink and this is the hot end area so but basically it is the hot end this part over here all the metal parts beyond this area at the bottom here is the metal part or the hot end area I mean the hot end parts and this is the heater components and this um, red printed parts actually is the groove mount that I've made especially for GTEC i3B or any kind of GTEC 3D printers but it should be um, compatible with other um, X carriage as well um, well this is the version 2 but for the version 3 you can download the open sketch file available through github github is the later has the latest open sketch file um, that one i already fixed the position the screw position for the gtec metal parts the gtec metal plate that would be used on the stock um, extruder mount on their stock one and yeah this actually are based from laupa laupa's design and I followed his design and I improved it, made it to the center of this um, carriage over here. The position from, um, from Laupa's design was that it is right at the edge of this um, mount over here. And that would mean that you would lose the X axis print print area by about 10 millimeter so as for my design it says right that center of this mount over here as you can see from the pictures I mean from this video this is the nozzle and it is it sits right at the edge of this glass print area so basically you can reach up to 200 millimeter print volume on the X axis itself and what else well this is the stock 
Mark 8 extruder provided by GTEC, the metal one, the metal Mark 8 extruder. It will be fastened with this extruder fastener, and the extruder fastener will be fastened on the mount over here that has four screws. You will be screwing screwing it with any screw you would use from the bottom over here. As you can see from top over here, there's four screws. It is it is to ensure that this fastener, I mean this extruder would be um, well theoretically it will be flat, stay flat on this um, mount over here. And also this hollow area, like bracket or some kind of gate or something. Actually, this is for the um, Tower Pro series servo, the one that can carry up to 9 grams only, and it is a fit. So, I haven't met any servo arms for the auto calibration yet. Um, if you want to create one, I would highly recommend for you to for you guys to create one. And it is recommended that it is much longer um, way past I mean well, uh, much longer compared to this nozzle it is okay because it is a servo and it will retract the arms up and down anyways so um, basically this is based on Laupas design I credit to him and I just made an improvement also the version 3 you can customize the um, the screw holes uh, and the size of the screws you want for example if you put in a three millimeter screws the nuts the nut slot over here for everything will change to three millimeter as well and it is compatible and also the screw distance for the um, uh, the carriage over here also highly customizable you can just um, adjust the parameter like the distance for example from the left side screw until the right side screw is 15 millimeter 15 millimeter is for g tech while the vanilla is about 12 millimeter so you just if for example other other variant uses like eight millimeters you just punch that in eight millimeters and yeah these screw holes will automatically adjust itself on the open scat script so you just change the parameter according to your needs well one of the drawbacks that you might be sacrificing is that um, well defend up for the printed parts well this fan you can turn it to the right but it will slightly tilt it to the um, to this side to the front because it really hit the mount over here but well you could just well i mean um by using this this slot over here just extend another uh like print a parts like a, a holder a screw holder that will be screwed on here and it will extend and another fan would blow downwards and the fan duct will go down below over here but the another one of my problem would be well it will hit my bulldog clip over here that is one of the huge drawback of using bulldog clip well because i can't use um fan duct because fan duct is slightly uh, wide so by using bulldog clip by by the time when it is z home the bulldog clip i mean yeah the bulldog clip already 
slight, slightly touched with this heater cartridge wire over here so I'm not sure about my my kind of fan duct design do like my video if you like it dislike if you don't really like it leave down suggestion in the comments below or probably if you want to see any other video you want me to make I will try to make one for you guys um, what else do subscribe to my channel for future videos and thank you guys for watching have a good day and peace